Okay, this video is a um, test of the performance of a Ryden RD6012P DC power supply. Uh, the P at the end of the um, model number is for a precision power supply. So you can see that power supply here. Um, so it's currently set up, um, not outputting anything. I'm connecting the output through a shielded cable to a uh, oscilloscope. The oscilloscope is displayed here on my computer screen. Um, so we can see the background noise um, without anything running and no load on the power supply, no output from the power supply. I've got the ACR mess, ACR mess of um, one. Uh, one millivolt and DC RMS of about 1.4. Peak to peak is seven to eight millivolts. Um, what I can do here is turn this on. So we've got AC coupling, so it's gonna keep, come back down to uh, the zero line. Here it comes. Okay. So now that's on and it's settling out in the AC coupled mode. There's currently no load on it, so you can see we're outputting uh, 6.999, basically seven volts, um, zero amps. So we've got uh, no power being uh, delivered by the Ryden power supply at the moment. This is our load. Um, the load is currently off, so I'm gonna turn that on in a second. But um, okay, you can see now with the power supply on, you still have ACRMS of about one volt and peak to peak of say uh, seven or eight maybe nine millivolts. The scale here on the left, if you can see it, is in millivolts. So there's a zero line, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 millivolts, and then the negative from 10 to minus 50 millivolts. Um, yeah, we're looking at, um, looks like two milliseconds per division on the X axis. And um, I'm gonna turn on the load and it's set for four amps. So we're seven volts, four amps, 28 watts. There we go, it ramps up. So we're outputting uh, 6.999 volts at four amps, 28 watts. And now we see a ACRMS of uh, still 1.1 millivolts, uh, peak to peak. Um, I'm seeing an occasional 10 millivolts. The DC RMS is 2.2, uh, something like that. We can also turn on a persistence view and that'll give us a look at the, uh, the noise level, peak to peak as it fills in that persistence view. Let me blow up the Y axis and we'll go, here we go. So that's now um, two millivolts per division. There's a little bit of an offset. I would say the minimum value is uh, maybe at minus four millivolts and the max is at uh, seven. So seven plus four, 11 millivolts peak to peak. Um, yeah, I'm not even seeing that show up over here, but uh, yeah, in the extreme, we probably have um, 11 millivolts peak to peak and the ACRMS is still 1.1 millivolts. And that's at 28 watts output. So we've got a good solid load on the power supply. So that's a pretty decent power supply um, noise level, considering this is an inexpensive device. Um, I think it's about maybe 100 bucks at, at the moment on say AliExpress for this Ryden power supply. So I'm gonna turn the load off and the next thing we're gonna look at will be, I'm gonna turn off the persistence view. And we're gonna go, turn off the power supply. And we're gonna to go to um, DC coupling. Here we go. DC coupling. And we're going to look at the um, we're going to look at the single shot rise time and fall time, um, and see 
whether we get any overshoot with a load on it. So let's see, let me turn this on. I'm going to change the scale of the uh, vertical axis so that we get a look at the full range. We're going to go up to 7 volts. There we go. So now we're going from 0 to 10 volts. And um, we can do a single shot, turn on the load, and turn on the power supply, and we should get, we should capture that, uh, that rise time. Let's see, do we get, is it going to do it? Single. Okay, try that again. Here we go. Go. There it is. Okay. So um, we go from zero to this seven volt level. There's a tiny bit of overshoot. Let's see if we blow that up a little bit. I would say um, maybe 200 millivolts, something like that. Yeah, 0.2 volts, something like that of overshoot. And then we'll look at the um, single shot on the fall time. And um, this is with a load once again, so we get a nice, smooth um, descent to zero volts. So that's it. That's a quick look at this uh, Ryden power supply. Um, yeah, that's a closer look at the unit. And um, yeah, its performance is pretty good, considering it's an inex inexpensive device. So I hope this helped to see this uh, in action, and uh, I thank you for watching.